I'm here today to talk about my latest obsession, which is the pinky finger and where it lies. Right? So I've been teaching yoga for about 15 years, doing yoga for about 20, and I have always been taught and teach to spread my fingers as much as possible. Right? So it's been a no-brainer. I rather like the image, put my hand down, spread my fingers open, feels great. Uh, and what that does is, it leaves the pinky wider than the outer edge of the palm, which is what I've just done, right? So, <clears throat> a couple months ago I read a blog post by a yoga teacher, and now I cannot find that post, so I would love to know who actually wrote it. Um, and it just talked about bringing the pinky in line with the outer edge of the palm. And it's changed my world. I, I feel like it's just been an unbelievable experience. And what it does is it brings me, uh, it grounds me into my shoulder, my upper arm, my head, my neck. Everything is just so much more grounded. And, and you can even feel it as a disconnect when the finger moves to the outside of that edge. That losing that joint really has an effect here. You can, let's say you put your hand down on the floor, spread the pinky open, and bring your opposite hand to the tricep. And, your tricep might be engaged, right? But press through the finger and feel that. But now move the pinky in line with the outer edge of the palm and lengthen through that pinky and really feel so much more work <clears throat> in the arm. Just so much better work. So really into that. I'm going to start working on my thumb and feeling the difference in the thumb, but I haven't thought about that too much. But one thing in terms of yoga that I have found, so I've been teaching this uh, lately. and uh, people seem to have a hard time with the instruction. So what happens is uh, everyone, and, and it's an amazing thing, very few people are not overextending the pinky out to the side. But I'll say bring the pinky in and the tendency is that the whole hand turns in. So what, what might have been a really nice line across the wrist turns into uh, the hand gets turned in too much and the pinky comes in as well. So essentially if you look at your fingers and spread them open, pinky too far, you're going to have, you likely will set up with equal space between the four fingers, right? So now you're going to bring your pinky in, which probably brings your pinky next to the ring finger, and they're touching, and then try to adjust, don't move the wrist, but try to adjust the other three fingers so that there now will be equal space between the four fingers, right? So here there was equal space. You might need to start that way, but you want to eventually end up with the pinky in line with the outer edge of the palm, equal space between the three fingers. You'll find really great use out of that in down dog, in planks and stuff, but uh, it's really when you come up to inversions that you'll feel it can just be really, really grounding and supportive and really great stuff. I uh, hope you enjoy.